thank you very much for uh, coming this evening to uh, this uh, lovely evening. Uh, it's my pleasure to now introduce uh, Peter Kola. Uh, he's a uh, Czech politician and uh, the current ambassador of the Czech Republic to the United States. Uh, ambassador Kola has held numerous positions at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs from 96 to 98, he served as the Czech ambassador to Sweden. In 99, Peter became ambassador to Ireland. From 2003 to 2005, he was the deputy foreign affairs minister for bilateral relations. He assumed office as the ambassador for the US at the end of 2005. And in October of this year, uh, Peter Kola will become the new ambassador to Russia, so uh, enjoy the Florida weather. Please thank uh, Tim Weber, who provided catering services for this event and the wonderful food he prepared. And uh, Jeff, uh, uh, Jeff Noose, our entertainer and pianist, uh, who plays at the uh, Grand Bohemian and Celebration Hotel. Who has disappeared? Uh, <laughs> Nobody was listening. Uh, some of you may have noticed a recent improvement in the efficiency of the consular call. Uh, this is 100% due to Jamie O'Donnell, our new protocol officer. As well as being one of Orlando's best event planners, she's generously donated her valuable time to help make us a world-class organization. So thank you very much. Uh, lastly, uh, what can you say about Roman Inakovsky? As well as being much taller and better looking than the rest of us. Uh, <laughs> He's also annoyingly good at everything he does. Yeah. And you usually don't find out until he's really showing you up. <laughs> oh, I was European junior champion for four years at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. See, at least when I'm good at something, I have a decency to boast about it. <laughs> From uh, what I've been able to uncover so far, the uh, highlights include a world-ranked tennis professional, a uh, highly successful businessman and sought-after wealth planner, PhD in international business and law. He speaks German, Czech, English, and French. <laughs> uh, he's a skilled pilot with numerous licenses, over 5,000 flight hours. That's a hell of a lot, I'll tell you. Uh, he sits on numerous boards and now is the Czech Honorary Consul. Uh, great find that Czech people have in, in Rome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Czech Honorary Consul for Orlando, the Honorable Roman Inikos. States, uh, we can have even more, uh, this huge country, but we have to be very careful in choosing those people. They need to represent us, and we don't pay them for that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most important remarks you need Thanks to do. reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you need to remember all the time. Uh, 
Second, they have to be, of course, uh, very credible people. They are representing the country, and the country is offering them its own credit. We are sure that you can offer your credit you have in this community, in this lovely community here, to our country. Uh, Raman, for us, it's an honor that you accepted this uh, offer to be the honorary consul, and I hope that for you, it's the honor to represent our country and our people. This service is not only about uh, passports and coffins. Uh, what unfortunately, sometimes honorary consuls have to do as well. But it is very much about promoting uh, relations between our countries. It is very much about uh, acknowledging what the country honorary consul represents is about, what we can offer from the culture, business, uh, or political point of view. It is very much about social uh, events. You need to socialize. You know, you shouldn't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Can you> tell? <laughs> and you, you really need to be very much respected by the local community. So far, I can say, if I see so many nice people who came to uh, celebrate with you this important moment, mm -hmm. you must be very popular. <laughs> 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 well, and you should behave fast. Right? <laughs> uh, well, the Czech Republic today is uh, one of the closest allies of the United States. Uh, we are very proud of that, and uh, we can say that it was uh, one of the great invest investments of the United States to help us to recover after 40 years of COVID. <coughs> we used to be one of the uh, wealthiest countries uh, in uh, uh, Europe between world wars, uh, then unfortunately because of the Nazi occupation and the communism afterwards, uh, we lost a lot of it, but we are getting back, we are getting back on the track, and uh, it is very much about people, about dedicated people, people who are really determined to get back uh, on our place under the sun, uh, we deserve. But we couldn't make it without the support of the United States. Uh, for sure, uh, we wouldn't be made members of NATO and we wouldn't be members of European Union if the United States would, would support us. And we are very grateful for this and we are very pleased that we can see uh, that we today are doing many important jobs together in Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, many other places, Western Balkans, and that our shoulders, uh, our, our Soldiers.